In this specific video, you're going to learn how to create backups for your WordPress blog. Now, obviously, you can go to cPanel and backup your whole site. However, in this example, I want to show you how to backup your specific WordPress blog and use a specific plugin called xCloner to do just that. And also, in the future videos, I will show you how to restore your previous backup of your WordPress blog. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is, of course, to go to your dashboard. And at this point, you'll want to go to plugins, click on add new plugin, and do a search for X cloner. Click on search plugins and it's this one here so click on install now click on OK enter your FTP username and password click on proceed click on activate and there we go now the reason why I chose xcloner versus all of the other WordPress backup systems is because xcloner is not only free but it allows you to back up your blogs and also restore them. And you can also clone them and move them to a different domain name, which I'll show you in the future videos. Now what I want to do is go to the settings for xCloner. And to access xCloner right here, you'll see the link that says open X cloner. So I'm going to click on that. And then you're going to see the configuration settings. But before we can get in there, we need to log in. And by default, your username is going to be admin and your password is also going to be admin. So put admin admin, click on login. And what we need to do is we need to specify the backup store path check directory, the temporary path check directory, and so forth. And I'm going to show you how to do just that. Now, it may look complicated, but it really is not complicated at all. The first thing you want to do is click on configuration. And you'll notice here that the backup start path has been completed, but we need to fill in the backup store path. So what you need to do is you need to go to FileZilla FTP program, and you need to connect to your website. And what we need to do is create a folder, and this location here is where the backups will be stored. So go ahead and open up the FileZilla FTP program, connect to your website, and the host name is ftp.yourdomain.com, enter your username and password, and so forth. Now right now I'm actually connected to my website, and what I need to do is simply create a folder that is located right under in the root directory of WordPress. So in this case, I have installed WordPress under public underscore HTML slash funny tees. So what I need to do is create a new folder here. So what I need to do is right click, click create directory, and then enter the directory. So I'm going to put administrator click OK and right underneath this I'm going to create another directory called backups click on OK now before I can move on I need to move back up here to the folder administrator I need to right click on this click on the file permissions and then change the permissions to 777. Click recursive into subdirectories, click on OK, and that's it. 
the next thing I need to do is to go to the X cloner plugin. So I'll go under WP dash content, this specific folder here, then go to the plugins folder and then locate the X cloner dash backup dash and dash restore folder. Double click that. And then what we're looking here is for the cloner dot config dot PHP file we need to change the permissions of this file. So right click, click on file permissions and change this to 777. Click on OK and then we can go back to the WordPress dashboard here and then we want to enter this path here. Now some of you might have a different location than me. Some of you might have slash home slash username slash public underscore HTML or HTTP docs or something different. So what I find the easiest way to enter this location is this. Simply highlight the backup start path and then copy it and then paste it to the backup store path. So I'm going to right click, click on paste, and then I'm going to add the administrator slash backups. Once that is done, I'm going to go through these configuration settings. Right here it says backup generator options. It says manual backup. Select this option if you want to do a manual backup. So in this case by default it's yes. Enable database backup, yes, because XCloner actually backs up your database and your WordPress files. Most plugins out there will only back up your database. So XClone is definitely great. This option here, basically every time you back up, let's say something last week, and if you click yes, then what this will do is it'll back up last week's and this week's. So the file will get really, really big. So by default, it's no, and I'm gonna leave it as no. I'm gonna leave the server use options as default, and I'm gonna leave everything, and I'm gonna click on save here. And as you can see here, because I've done everything correct through FTP, everything has been saved. Now that that is completed, you can go through these tabs if you want to. If you go to, if you click on MySQL, it will show you your host name, your username, your password, and so forth. And in this case, I'm going to leave that default. The authentication tab allows you to basically change your username and password. So in this case, I'm going to leave it blank. You can change other configurations here. Under the cron jobs tab, you can set the cron job here. And if you're not familiar with a cron job, cron jobs allow you to automate a certain process. And if you want to set up the cron job, you'll need to enter your email here. Click on save. And if I click on cron, the link here, and I highlight this cron job or this link to this specific file here. Highlight that, click on copy. I can actually go back to the C panel and create a cron job. So the next thing I want to do is show you how to do that. If you get a C panel or whatever web hosting panel you are using, all you need to do is look for cron. So at the very bottom of the C panel, if I click on cron jobs, what I can do is set this to activate this cron job every hour, every minute, and so forth. In this case, I'm going to do it once a day. Or you could do it once a week. And then where it says command, you want to enter this link here, click on add new cron job, and that's it. So now you have your cron job set what this does is it automates your backup generator for your website.
Now, if I want to go ahead and create a backup, what I need to do is under the actions link here, click on generate backup. And under the database options under backup database, we are selecting the current database. So I'm going to select all of this here. And I'm going to click on file options. And at this tab, you can choose your backup name if you want to do so. If you leave this blank, it'll generate a backup name for you. Now this right here are excluded folders and excluded files. So if you check something here, it will actually exclude these files. In this case, I'm going to leave everything blank. Backup comments are mainly for you if you want to add comments so that you remember something that you did in particular in the future. In this case, I'm going to leave it blank and click on continue. And as you can see, xCloner is now generating the backup. And within a matter of seconds, it has generated the backup and we're done. And that's it.